Hi everyone. Today I am going to talk about the macroeconomic model. My talk is divided into three main sections. First, definition of the macroeconomic model. Second, components of the macroeconomic model. Finally, stock variables versus flow variables. By the end of this presentation, you will be able to define the macroeconomic model to determine the components of the macroeconomic model and to differentiate between a stock and the flow variables. What is the macroeconomic model? A macroeconomic model is a set of equations with variables and the coefficients designed to explain the economy and the sum part of the economy. The macroeconomic model is a simplified representation of the real situation of the domestic economy. It is used to describe economic activities, their relationships, and the behavior. A macroeconomic model is an explanation of how the economy or part of the economy works. What are the components of the macroeconomic model? The components of the macroeconomic model are variables, equations, and the coefficients. One, variables. Variables can be divided into two main kinds of variables, the dependent variable and the independent variable. The dependent variable is the variable that is affected by other variables. It is also known as the endogenous variable. Therefore, the value of the dependent variable is determined within the model. It is explained by the equation. For example, personal consumption spending, abbreviated as C, is a dependent variable in the consumption equation. In this equation, personal consumption spending is affected by the change in the gross domestic income, abbreviated as Y. The independent variable is a variable that affects another variable. It is also known as an exogenous variable. Therefore, the value of the independent variable is determined outside the model. It is not explained within the model. For example, the consumption equation includes the gross domestic product and personal consumption is vending. Gross domestic product has a positive effect on personal consumption is vending. As gross domestic product increases, personal consumption is vending will increase. Therefore, the gross domestic product is an independent variable. What the main kinds of equations in the macroeconomic model? The macroeconomic model includes three kinds of equations. A behavioral equation, an identity equation, and the equilibrium condition equation. A behavioral equation is an equation that shows the fractional relationship between the dependent variable and one or more independent variables. This equation is estimated from historical data. For example, the consumption equation for the closed economy without the government sector can be displayed as follows. C equals CA plus MPCY. C refers to personal consumption spending. Y refers to the gross domestic product. C, A, and MPC are coefficients. The equation above displays that 
there is a positive relationship between C as the dependent variable and Y as the independent variable. As Y increases, C will increase and vice versa. What is identity? An identity is a relationship between the dependent variable and one or more variables that are true by definition. For example, saving equal income minus consumption is bending. And we can say S equal Y minus C. Also, income for a closed economy without a government sector can be shown as follows. Y equal C plus I. C equal person consumption is bending and I equal private investment is bending. The equation above displays that gross domestic product equals person consumption is bending plus private investment is bending. What is the equilibrium condition equation? The equilibrium condition equation is an equation that determines the condition of equilibrium. For example, when aggregate demand, abbreviated as AD, equals aggregate supply, abbreviated as AS, the macroeconomic equilibrium will be achieved. What is the coefficient? The coefficient is an estimate of a component of a behavioral relationship. For example, coefficients of consumption function are CA and MBC. CA is autonomous consumption. Autonomous consumption is the level of consumption when gross domestic product equals zero. Autonomous consumption must be positive. MBC is the marginal propensity to consume. MBC is a change in personal consumption spending due to the change in gross domestic income. MBC is between 0 and 1. Consider the following consumption equation of an economy. C equal 20 plus point eight y C is personal consumption spending. Y is gross domestic product. Find the following dependent variable, independent variable, autonomous consumption, marginal propensity to consume. Consumption function is the given information for you based on this equation. What is the dependent variable? Dependent variable is located before the equal sign in consumption equation. Therefore, dependent variable is C. C is affected by the change in Y. In dependent variable is Y. Y affects C. As Y increases, C will increase and vice versa. Y has a positive effect on C. Eternal consumption is the part of consumption at zero Y. When Y equals zero. This part will be equal zero. Therefore, the remainder is 20. Therefore, 20 is eternal consumption. Eternal consumption is a part of consumption at zero income. A total consumption is the first part 
of total consumption. Marginal propensity to consume or MBC is located beside Y in consumption equation. Is located if beside the Y in consumption equation, therefore MBC is 0.8. Flow variables are the variables that are measured over a period of time or period of time. Examples of flow variables include domestic income, domestic output, domestic investment spending, domestic savings, exports, imports, loan installment, rent, and the interest amount. Stock variables are the variables that are measured at a point in time. Examples of stock variables include national wealth, capital stock, money supply, and employment. What the main difference between stock and the flow variables? Flow variable is the variable that is measured over a period of time or period of time. Flow variable has a time dimension. Therefore, it is a dynamic concept. A stock variable is a variable that is measured at a particular point in time. A stock variable has no time dimension, hence it is a static concept. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back for the next video.